hope you all are doing swell and welcome back to my channel. So today I am joined by my fiance Kendall because last week we actually got engaged so I thought that we would sit down today and answer some engagement questions and kind of get you guys so you guys can learn a little bit more about us because I love watching tags like this and I think it's just so fun to see people answer questions about their love. So we have some questions that we're just going to go through and answer them for today. So and actually we are matching because he picked me up after I got off of work because uh, I work at home right now because of the quarantine and so he picked me up and then we were both had the same colors on. So we're, we're besties. And my, my camera's about to die. Isn't that lovely? Okay. Let's see how far we go. <laughs> we'll see how far we can go. Okay, mm -hmm. so the first question that I have is, how did we meet? Okay, so <laughs> essentially the first time we met, I, I guess I didn't even realize we were meeting, but the first time we formally met... Yes, was at Babalu in Midtown. Was at Babalu in Midtown. Actually mm -hmm. in the parking garage where she came down the stairs after I was trying to explain to her how to... Where park. to park. <laughs> and... I was immediately enamored. I just remember, I always remember that mental image. It was glorious. So that's the first time he met me. But the first time I met him, uh, while I was in college, I worked it for like maybe a month. It might have been two months, but uh, I worked there and I was like, man, this guy looks very familiar because I thought he was someone that I knew from high school. And I was like, that doesn't, that doesn't look like him, but it also does look like him. And so we had no friends in common on Facebook. So I just added him on Facebook and wished him a happy birthday. And then from then, that's where we started like talking and we went on the date, which we like formally met. But I was peeping him out at the gym when, cause when I worked out, I would always look at him and be like, oh, he looks so sweet. He looks so nice. If we can't even date, at least we can be friends, so. And I didn't even think she was a real person when she first messaged me on Facebook because... You were hanging out with Irvine and uh, Preston. Right, I was hanging I was living with two of my buddies and and uh, I got the message and I was like, I looked at her profile picture, I was like, this this looks like... This is one of my modeling. <laughs> yeah, I was like, this is professional. I don't know if this person is real, but... Yep, there we go. I messaged back and we started the chat. Uh, the next question is, where was our first date? And the first date was at Babalu. Babalu. We went to Babalu for dinner, mm -hmm. which is a, like a, a Mexican Tapas style place. tapas restaurant in here in Memphis. Uh -huh. And then we went to uh, Target afterwards. Uh huh. And we, we got the little Valentine's Day cards because our first date was the day after Valentine's Day, so all the candy right. is on sale. And so, we went there. And then... We went to Walgreens. Walgreens and, and got, got some candy. candy. <laughs> and we hung out for a little while. I think we listened to Mac DeMarco or something and just talked, and I was like, I have to go, I have a test in the morning, so I can't hang out too late. And then we just dipped. Yeah, so, I was, yeah. by the end of that date, I was just like, I have to, I have to go on a second date. <laughs> yeah, I kept saying that to myself. I feel like you asked dad. me on a second date like that evening or something like that. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Mm. <laughs> I don't remember exactly, but I knew I wanted to go on one. So. Yeah, I can't remember any of like the first 10 dates or something like that. Probably because we, we hang out pretty much every other day, I twice a week. snippets. Yeah, snippets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long have we been dating? Two years and a month. Two years and a month? Yep. I thought it was like two years and two months or three months. Two, wait. Two, no, yeah, two, two years, years and a month. month. Yeah, we so. had our two year anniversary uh, at the beginning of March, uh -huh. March the 3rd. And then I had my birthday two weeks ago and then the weekend after my birthday, that's when we proposed, which was last weekend. So, <laughs> uh, how did you pick out the perfect ring? What was the process of ring designing, proposal planning, and proposing like? So, I guess I can show you guys the ring. So, oops, right here. Focus. There we go, Kendall. That is the ring. That is what it looks like in all of its glory. Kendall. <laughs> You have to take it away because I don't know the process of all the rings. I don't even know what type of ring this is because okay. he found it 
on my Pinterest and then designed right. it that way. But take it away. I didn't find this exact ring. <laughs> I found inspiration from her Say Yes to Pinterest board, which had all sorts of different rings. But they all sort of had a similar theme to them. I guess um, like the center stone was very similar. The center stone, it was also nothing too crazy elaborate. Mm -hmm. So I, I basically was all, I was looking at that a lot. And then I was starting to, to look at stones, not rings, but stones by themselves at first. I, I eventually found the stone that I wanted and it was a really nice quality and really solid cut. and. Um, you know, for anybody who knows anything about diamonds, there's all these different uh, ratings they do for cut color, just the overall quality. So anyways, I <laughs> found the stone first and then I went into a friend of mine's store and, and picked out the setting that I was actually considering getting one made, but I found a setting that, that it just fit, it just fit in. right into the, the, the setting and I was just like, man, that is... That's something else. So, what about the proposal planning? Because I feel like maybe we should talk about the actual proposal since oh. we'll just we'll just skip a question and go right to the proposal. So, okay. Do you want to talk about your view from the proposal or my view? Because I can do vice versa. Because your girl, it was my brain. It was going because I was like something's up. Because. Well, I knew when we had started talking more and more about like the next step mm -hmm. as far as like what life would be like when we were together, mm -hmm. I, I knew that, that I could start getting a move on and I was, and I was ready. I was ready to, to start making my plans. You were ready like at the third day. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what can I say? I was the person with more of a, you know, I wanted to do certain things within my life before. Like I wanted to graduate college. I wanted us to be dating for at least two years. I wanted to have my full-time career job. And then Which once I, all of that happened, I was like, I'm ready. I as long as my nails are done, edges are laid. Which you can do it. I had to make exactly. sure of. My nails uh, were done and my edges were laid. <laughs> reaching out to a local hotel in Memphis that was down in an area of town called Harbor Town where we like to go and hang out mm -hmm. quite a bit and they we had been to this restaurant that was kind of on their rooftop restaurant they have a really pretty um, rooftop it's a bar with with uh, a, a view. scenic view yeah, of yeah. the Mississippi River which is really beautiful especially at sunset um, it was one of our first fancy dates oh yeah for sure. I took her there on her birthday. Uh-huh. My first birthday. Your first birthday. We weren't even dating for like a month. Well, it's technically your uh, 24th birthday. 24th birthday? I was 23 turning 24. Yeah. So it wasn't your first birthday. Anywho. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Get out! Uh, I emailed the, the a lady who was uh, in charge of the events there and asked her if a proposal was possible. Mm -hmm. Um and she emailed me right back and said that it was possible and then I basically negotiated with her and figured it out and <laughs> there we go. And we had a contract and then the coronavirus thing happened and, and I was worried that Yeah, cuz the coronavirus work out. here in Memphis it like shut down all of your businesses pretty much. You mm -hmm. couldn't congregate or anything. Right. So the restaurants were were, were closed by then. Mm -hmm. That was the first day of the restaurants mandated to be closed, but because it was just us up there. It was and, fine. Yeah, exactly. So, so, from my standpoint, leading up to the whole proposal, he texted me the day before because we like to take pictures for fun, like photo shoot pictures. Because uh, I just like taking pictures. I do it. I did it for like for my job. So, anywho, so I was like, this is so weird because he's the one who's initiating initiating it because usually I'm the type of person that's like okay can you take pictures for me please well, you know, but you know I like taking pictures you do like taking pictures and then he also lets me take a few pictures of him but he kept, he just kept saying I'm gonna dress up really nice I'm gonna be to the nines and then I would text back I'm like I'm not dressing up I'm gonna wear a nice sweater nice jeans but I'm not dressing up he was like oh I'm gonna be like slick I'm gonna be so dressed up I said up. it maybe twice and the, you said like 
10 times. Oh but God. I was like, in my head, I was like, something's going on. Why is he wanting to take pictures out of the blue? And then before that, on my birthday, his mom texts me. She's like, save a date for us next Saturday. Make sure you don't have anything planned so we can go out to dinner or to lunch. And I was like, okay, cool. And then the day before she canceled. And then she said, well, Kendall can take you on a really nice day anyway. So I was just like, huh, something's fishy. And then I did my makeup and I was doing my hair the day of, and my mom kept like coming by looking at me and stuff. And I thought that was also skeptical. And then, oh, last, that night too, I'm all over the place. That night as well, I was texting you memes because I was like, something's up. Somebody scheming something, but I just didn't know what. She, you could tell that she was just all frazzled thinking about. What, yes, because what I the was so stressed were. out because you kept saying you were dressing up, and I was just Which like. Which in turn stressed me out because <laughs> I was like, "Is she gonna even agree to go now?" Oh yeah. Anyways, I, uh, I didn't know if it was gonna work. We're out. both very chill people, if you can't tell. So. Yeah. I'm a little more dramatic, but for the most no, part, I'm pretty chill. We're very laid back. We're very laid yeah. back, but. We got there and I was like, Kendall, if you were trying to go to Harper Town, you took the longest way to go. That was accidental. I was just <laughs> wrapped up and thinking in my head. And yeah. then we got there and he was saying, oh yeah, they're just doing like special people. So they're still having lunch, but everything is like upstairs. It's not that many people. They're doing it by reservation. So I didn't think anything of it. And then we walked in, this lady was like, Mr. Phillips, uh, you can go upstairs. I said, that's weird but then also I was like he just said they can make reservations so they probably just noticed that that was him because you have like a time and so I get up there I'm not noticing anything and I like walk in the room which I took video footage of but I walked in the room and I was just like why are they playing like our favorite music like Tom Mish and Demis Russo and all these different people like Mac DeMarco and everybody I, just, I still didn't put two and two together. And I was like, they just have one single table set with like roses and champagne? And I was like, that's so weird. And then as I went to the table to take off my coat, I saw his best friend's sister-in-law who does like beautiful pictures, her and her husband. They have their own photography. They do things for like everyone here, but I saw him pop up behind the bar and I saw her come out and I was like, oh my gosh, this is happening. And then he gave me a box of the Valentine's Day cards that we got on our first date and he wrote a really sweet note on it. And as I started getting to the end of it, he proposed with like the actual ring in the box. And myself, I'm just like this, yes, but also <laughs> my hands are on my hips, I'm like, who else knows? Who hid this from me this entire time? <laughs> trying to figure out who all who all knew. Because... I'll put a picture on the screen of like, because they actually did get a picture of me with my hands on my hips. Oh like, yeah, I saw it. Who, who, who all we knew? We got to keep that one. Perfect. Yes. That's so great. But I, my whole thing throughout that whole like lunch and then taking pictures, our engagement pictures, I was just like, how did everyone know? And she can't stand me. that we got that we all no, got it. No, because I'm so nosy, and I don't like <laughs> you. You guys surprised me, so that's how the proposal went. I was kind of expecting it, but not really. But uh, how did our families respond and friends? Ooh. Everyone's hype. Pure, pure joy. Hype city. I think joy. everyone to the point was like, okay, they have such great chemistry. They get along so well because I think one thing that's special about me and Kendall's relationship is that we're like genuine best friends first and then the relationship second. So we went in with the intentions of dating, but we also made it a point to be best friends as well. So. When they, you know, when stuff happens, like really funny stuff or really good stuff, we just spill the beans. I think most goss. people who knew us were like, it's only a matter of time. And then once it happened, they were just so overjoyed for us. And, and once this whole Corona thing's over, we're going to celebrate. <laughs> Engagement party, gosh. Yeah, that's going to be packed. That's going to be a lot of fun. That'll be great. But I feel like our family and friends, they were all just really excited. They were like, yes, finally. It's all, it's all happening. At least that's how my family and friends, but I feel like our family and friends oh, have kind of morphed. Which is another really awesome thing about our relationship. As soon as we started dating, your friends became my friends, my friends became your friends, and all of our family hangs out. Our moms text all the time. We all do like family We're stuff. We're already family. It's been this way for it's just, since we've been dating. This whole uh, <laughs> marriage thing is just a formality. 
It's just it's just a protocol. Don't get me wrong. It's a big, <laughs> it's a big deal. It's a big step. <clears throat> Do you have anything to add to that? Other than I can't wait to celebrate. Yeah. Uh, when was the moment? Oh no! Any wedding plans? No. Not yet. No. We're very chill people. We're gonna take our time. I feel like a year is a good point. But also, it's so hot and humid in Memphis at this time. So I'm just like, do I really want to sweat on my wedding day? So we have time because the coronavirus is kind of delaying a lot of stuff because you can't congregate and a lot of our loved ones are older and stuff. So we don't want people to be exposed to yeah. anything like that. And a lot you of our- You gotta figure out what's available and everything since all these other events are already getting pushed back. Yep. So. Then we have a lot of friends with babies. And then we have a lot of friends and family members like my mom and his best friend work in hospitals and all this different stuff. So for safety measures, we're not, we're not rushing anything right now. I guess we can answer that. When was the moment we both knew we were meant to be together and married? When do, you, when do you want me to, you want me to go first? You want me to go first? Or you can go first? I don't care. You can go first. Okay. <laughs> I think she knows this because... Oh no, the... For the, certain reasons, but I th I'm pretty sure the third date was... The camera the, is flashing. ...was the solidified... Oh. <laughs> I think you're nervous because the camera's about to shut yeah, off. I, I, we're back. The camera had died and we just charged up for maybe five minutes, so... We're gonna finish it out, but um, what are we looking forward to the most about married life? You wanna go? Everything, uh, living together, carrying out our routines together, which we talk about all the time. Yeah, we have really strategic routines that we both, I feel like they're very similar even though we live in two separate places. Yeah. And I also think it'll be fun to live together because we're, we're very strong in our faith and our moral, morals and all the different stuff that goes along with just being a Christian. Just live that out and see what that looks like. <laughs> and make, making a home together, making decisions together, mm -hmm. you know, and just overall companionship together in a dwelling with my best friend. Yeah. And the fun thing about it is that we don't even have to buy a house because you already bought a house. <laughs> Yay! Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> um, what is your dream honeymoon destination? If we ever get to go to Europe, we were supposed yeah. to go to Europe in May for almost two weeks, but that's been yeah. postponed, so we can maybe use it for when we go. But I feel like my dream destination would actually be Tokyo, Japan, because I've been to Taiwan. I loved it. I love Asian culture so much, but he's actually been to Tokyo. It's a trip. <laughs> so I would love to go there if we had to do like a city type thing. That would be so fun. But if we had to do a tropical thing, what would you suggest? Like an all-inclusive resort kind of thing, like Sandals, Jamaica, like Michael, where Michael Scott <laughs> I goes. Just, you, um, um, I thought no, you were something, trolling. Something like that, though, because those are... They're already pre-planned. They're pre-planned. We, we literally just relax and like it's... That sounds really nice. Eat good food. We've never been to the beach together. We've talked about it a bunch, but we've never been. So I don't like fun. swimming. Well, she doesn't like swimming. She, she'll wait out a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm That'll like, this. That's that's it. We'll be good. Yeah. We'll have fun. No matter what. <laughs> no matter what. Mm. What are plans after the wedding? I guess to move, move in. into the kendo. Yeah. I guess that works. How like after the wedding day that like week or so I started gearing up and moving my stuff from the house me and my mom's house and then moving everything here kicking chance out but he'll already be married by then he'll so be gone. that's my roommate <laughs> but immediately, also getting married obviously this year. we're gonna go straight from the reception to laser tron and have a laser and quest laser session tag. just and us then, and then get on the plane and go to the honeymoon Exactly. We gotta get a quick. Oh, we gotta go to boba tea before that, though. Uh, we yeah, gotta we stop gotta, and get some don't, boba. If we don't are, if we don't have boba tea at our reception, <laughs> but boba tea. But we were thinking about having a boba tea thing at the like the wedding reception, but all of our family, they wouldn't enjoy it. I don't it. think anybody would get it. We would probably be the only people that would really enjoy it. Yeah. What do you think about wedding and marriage traditions? So like, I guess a traditional wedding. I guess like a traditional American wedding, it would be a Christian wedding. Uh, I don't know about a ceremony because for me personally, I don't want like a, hu I want a huge reception type of thing. And like a very small, intimate, actual like pastor, 
close close family that's it and maybe close friends and then that's it nothing like super the reception to be as elaborate as it can be oh, yeah. but i want the ceremony to just be like very close since we pride ourselves on having like very close tight-knit family and friends so i would want it to be very exclusive <laughs> oh, we never we have never butted heads on anything about the, the small amount of plans that we've discussed. We've barely discussed we've anything. We've barely discussed anything. But we're, we're on the same page. Yeah. We're laid back. Very so. chill. I'm pretty sure both of our mothers and family will have other things that they would like. So we will also go with the flow because... Try to try to make people happy. <laughs> other people. We got to make our ladies happy. That's right. They're our they moms. don't stress us out. They only get to do this once. <laughs> They only get to do it once, especially my mom. Yeah. Your mom already did it, so but she I'm has one more time. Only son. Ooh, facts. So I guess we can end on a really positive note, and it's what is your favorite quality about the other? And the camera is about Ooh, to die you, you again, you guys. You go first. We have to make this quick. I guess my favorite quality about Kendall is has to be his confidence of who he is as a person. No matter like what situation you're in, you're always completely in 100% yourself. You always show the love of God within everything that you do. And you just lead by example and it's something to admire. So that's what I really love. Because that's what matters to me the most. Leading a life that resembles one that we're supposed to as Christians. So, and I really admire that in you as a person. And you're funny. I have a lot of qualities, but the camera's There's about so to die. There's so many qualities. That <laughs> The thing that really takes me with Alexis is her relentless passion to pursue her creative uh, ventures and just how driven she is in pursuing hey, just all, one, all, passion, just one. <laughs> all passions. No, this, they're, they're, okay. they're combined. Mm -hmm. Just in pursuing your passions and that extends into your relationships with your with your family and your and your friends and you just you you take it all extremely seriously and you and you uh so do you we don't play games we don't yeah but i just oh. it, it inspires me every day oh jelly bean no we can go on and on about how much we like each other but the camera is about to die again you guys look out for that next video <laughs> how much we like each other <laughs> So if you guys have any other questions that you'd like for us to answer, we'll probably end up doing this again maybe like six months or something as we really get into like the engagement stage and kind of figure stuff out as well. But um, if you guys, <laughs> I hope you guys loved it. So the camera died again, you guys. <laughs> It's hard out here. It's hard out here. Anywho, we're going to end the video right here, you guys. Let us know in the comments down below if there's any other videos that you would like for us to do. I vlog usually. He's usually always in the vlog, so we can always answer some more questions in some upcoming videos. But if you want to see, like, the wedding process or planning, also let us know down in the comments down below. But until then, you guys be safe out here and have a blessed and wonderful day. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, you guys. Let's start. Is that mirror gonna bother you? No. Are okay. you looking into it? And is that chance? No. <laughs> because the camera's about to shut yeah. up. <laughs>